have like 24 solar panels on my roof and I wanted to see if I could power all the stuff in my office with solar power. Right now, the little EcoFlow Delta Pro is powering everything in my office off of solar that I generated earlier today. Also, everything that uses batteries were charged by the EcoFlow Delta Pro. So it is powering everything used to make this video. It also charged my laptop that I used to edit this video. Now, to get the energy out of those 24 solar panels on my roof, those panels are grid tied, meaning if the grid goes down, those panels are not generating me any benefit. I can't use the power off of my solar panels in a power outage, which is, I think is just ridiculous. To reroute those panels into batteries so I could use that power, it'd probably cost me between 15 and $25,000. I'm not ready to make that kind of investment. I got to looking around and I found the EcoFlow Delta Pro. I got their 400 watt solar panel and I just kind of snake the cord through my window and I charge it up with that panel. It gets between 300 and 360 watts on a really good day. But the battery that comes in this thing is 3.6 kilowatts and it has an output maximum of 3.6 kilowatts. So it could power 3.6 kilowatts of stuff for an hour or power stuff like what I'm using in here for a really, really long time if it's got a full charge. And as long as the sun comes out the next day, it will recharge it. I do like that I can hook up uh, two more of those 400 watt solar panels if I want. It has a maximum of 1.6 kilowatts input from solar. In that case, if it was getting direct sunlight, it would be able to power an air conditioner indefinitely. And I think that's really interesting. I guess I've just always been curious about the logistics of solar in terms of how you get the energy from the solar panel to battery and how you use that battery's energy to then power your house and also not blow up the connection to the grid if there is one. I do like the wheels to move it around because it is like 100 pounds. So the audio in this video probably just got a whole lot better. It's because I don't have the EcoFlow Delta Pro powering my lights right now. When it is on and it is above like 120 watts, there will be a fan blowing and it's pretty noisy and it's almost impossible to process out of my audio. That's how loud it is. And when it goes above a thousand watts, it gets super loud. You cannot get anything done unless you have like noise canceling headphones. They do have accessories that will let you put it into like your garage and hook it up to your electrical panel and then you can power circuits in your house. But then I have to get an extension keel for the solar panels and route that all the way to the front of my house. But ideally I would like to power my studio's circuit with just the Delta Pro and that solar panel. Also, if our power goes out, I can power all of our refrigerators for however long I need to. Then I have a solar panel that I can plug into it to keep them powered for as long as there is a power outage. I do live in California, one of the most well-connected suburban societies in the world, and we still have trouble keeping the lights on sometimes because of our infrastructure. That's kind of what kicked off this whole curiosity about solar power anyways. I did choose to build a PVC frame around the solar panel to make it easier to maneuver and reposition because the it's a folding portable solar panel, which is awesome if you're like going camping or something. It's really easy to just lay it flat on the ground, but you won't get the optimal angle all the time because the stand that it comes with is like really floppy and it falls over pretty easily. I did like that the panel had grommets all the way around it so I could just zip tie it to the PVC frame and I added two one and a quarter inch T adapters so they could lo loosely act as hinges. The PVC frame just helped a lot. I didn't use any PVC cement or anything, so I can still take it apart if I want to, and I can still pack it up and take it with me if I'm going somewhere. I think it would be interesting to get maybe three of these, build three PVC frames, and then add hinges to them all. So it would look kind of like this, and then they could collapse and open up uh, really easily. It'd take up a lot of space, and you might have to stand them up vertically, so I don't know how well that would work, but it's an idea. And that's it so far. If you want to keep following on this adventure, make sure you're subscribed. See you next time. Peace.